In this video we will demonstrate modeling basic architectural components. Let's create the walls, windows, doors, stairs, rooms, and floor slab for the ground floor of our building. Start by selecting Drawing File 101. Assign the ground floor planes to the drawing. Once this is done, open Drawing File 101. We will be using the pallets frequently. We can pin the pallets to make them more readily accessible. Then we'll select the wizard's pallet. The Bin Easy 2022 includes many useful components. The attributes for these components are compatible with IFC Interchange. Be sure that Bin Easy 2022 is selected in the wizard pallet. Double right click on an object in the wizard to start placing that object into your project. You can also change the style of an object to switch between different versions of the same basic object, such as walls. For walls constructed of multiple layers of materials, it may be useful to adjust the positioning axis before adding the walls to your project. We can also update the appearance of the wall surface in this dialog window. We're ready to start placing our exterior walls. If the orientation of the wall is backwards, we can correct it using the reverse command in the wall toolbar. Try to finish the remainder of the exterior walls on your own. When you're ready, we can start on the interior walls. You could use the contents of the wizards and adjust the styles. But let's try using the prepared components already in our drawing file. Place the interior walls in the same way as the exterior walls. We can add wall openings later. Finish placing the interior walls on your own. Let's add the opening in our walls for windows and doors. Double right click on the prepared components to start placing the component. You can adjust the anchor point to suit the placement location. Then simply click on the designated locations in the floor plan to place the openings. Other openings can be added in the same way. To modify these objects, select one or more objects, and then make changes through the Properties palette.
Let's add the stairs now. Double right click on the prepared stair object. Then select the starting point for our stairs. Now indicate the direction for the stairs. We can add rooms to our project. Again, double right click on the prepared objects and place the rooms one by one. You can make changes to the room properties now in the room toolbar, or by double left clicking after the room is placed. If your rooms aren't displayed correctly, check your options. We can add finishes to our vertical surfaces using the Story command. Go to the Bin Easy Wizard, access the Story tab, and then double right click on the ground floor story. Now trace an outline of our building. It's time to add the ground floor slab. First assign the bottom of ground floor and the top of foundation planes to drawing file 102. Then open drawing file 102. Use the prepared slab component to add the ground floor slab. Double right click on the prepared component and ensure area detection is enabled. Now simply click into the outline to place the slab. We can add a slab for the upper level in a similar fashion. Start by assigning the bottom level of the upper floor and the top level of the ground floor planes to drawing file 103. Then open drawing file 103. Use the prepared slab component to add the upper floor. After double right clicking on the prepared slab component, you can either trace the outline of the upper floor to place the slab, or use the area detection like we did for the ground floor slab. Our upper floor slab has an opening for the stairs. In the BIM Easy Wizard, access the slabs tab, and then double right click on the slab opening. We're already done modeling the ground floor. And now we can move on to modeling the upper floor of our building. Since you know all the commands, you can model the upper floor on your own.